Thanks for tuning in to watch The Ordinary Filmmaker. It's Wednesday, October the 13th, 2021. In this video, I'm going to cover off the second teaser video in full HD, a couple of lenses being announced by Nikon and Sony. But first, let's get back to that teaser video. Now, earlier this morning, I posted this video where we had a leaked image of the second teaser video. Well, Nikon since put a full HD version up on the internet, and let's take a look at it. Despite this being exported in 1080, notice the detail. The detail in the trees, the grass, in the fur of the animals. It's absolutely breathtaking. This video was shot in 8K, or at least several segments of it, as we can tell by this little overlay right here, where it says 4320. That means that it's shooting in 8K UHD, which is 7680 by 4320. And I want you to pay attention. Let's go back and take a look at the teaser again. Look at the numbers at the top. This shows the time. And each time we advance to a different scene, you can see the timer extends from 30 minutes to 60 minutes to well in excess of an hour. What Nikon is telling us here is that their Z9 can record 8K video in UHD, all I, well over an hour. And that's very, very significant. We know that the Sony Alpha 1 can record about an hour of video before overheating. And based on the feedback I've received from Stop the FOMO, who has shot in 8K as well as in 4K, is the camera tends to overheat even in normal room temperatures at around an hour. Well, here we have a camera, Nikon's new flagship camera, the Z9, recording in 8K UHD in the hot savanna plains of Africa for well over an hour in high heat, in bright sun, without overheating. And that's really, really significant. This video is a shout out to those producing video content. And while, yes, I hear you that the Z9 is a stills hybrid camera, it's for stills photographers, it's not for video, but it isn't. You see, in today's world where everything's converging, it's no longer enough for somebody to go out and just get photos. News agencies, websites, they also want video clips as well. And this camera is going to allow you to get those video clips where you have to shoot it once, multiple times, or over the course of an hour or even more. Now, we don't know how long this camera can record without overheating. Canon's recently announced our three similar sized body can record for six hours in 6K without overheating. Now, I'm not saying that the Z9 can record 8K for unlimited, or at least based on the size of your cards, but it can record for at least an hour and actually can go over that. We just don't know how far. And seeing that there wasn't any on-screen overheat warning, well, it can probably go, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes 90 minutes or two hours, maybe even more. At this point, you start worrying about, well, do I have enough capacity? And that's why it's really great to know that the Z9 not only has CF Express cards, but it has Type B. So if you're recording RAW, or you're recording all I, you need some high capacity cards. Now I currently shoot with the Angelbird two terabyte card. And if you put two of those in this camera, that gives you four terabytes of shooting. So you're gonna be able to shoot 8K. And you're not gonna to have to worry about running out of space anytime soon. And based on these photos that we found on B&H last year, around this time last year, we know that Angelbird has got their sights on a four terabyte CF Express card. So once these are available, and I don't know when, the company's not telling me anything. They just said, we can't comment on anything that's, you know, one of those standard things where they just can't comment on what they're working on. But they wouldn't have put out this image if they weren't working on it. So when this is available, when four terabyte CF Express cards are available, the Nikon Z9 will be capable of a staggering eight terabytes of internal storage. Now you can rec probably record to both cards at the same time. We don't know if that's possible, but if not, if you need to be able to record a lot of video in 8K for an hour or so, well, with eight terabytes of storage going from one card to the other, you're certainly not gonna have a problem. So it's a very, very exciting camera. I personally love video. I'm a video person, hence the name Ordinary Filmmaker. Uh, and I'm just staggered by this. I don't know when we're getting the Z9. Uh, we're getting a leaked video, what appears to be every week now. So I don't think we're gonna get an announcement for at least two weeks. But I'm really excited. I would love to be able to try out this camera. Um, Nikon, if you're listening, I would really love to be able to try out the Nikon Z9 for a couple of days or a week at the very least to put it through its paces for video. This looks to be an absolutely stunning camera video-wise. Again, it can do 8K up to 30 frames per second, 4K up to 120 frames per second, 
and apparently do this without overheating. But wait, there's more. Nikon has announced a new lens, and this is designed for APS-C bodies. It's the Nikon ZDX 18 to 140, and this lens is now available for pre-order, as is the Sony 70 to 200 f 2.8 gm2 both of these lenses are available for pre-order i do have a couple links down below to amazon and b h if you like purchasing through those sites but uh, these are two lenses that are very much looked forward to especially the 70 to 200 mark ii so what do you guys think are you interested in the z9 do you shoot with canon do you shoot with sony panasonic what camera do you currently shoot with and from a video perspective what do you think of the z9 does it have you excited? And stop the FOMO. If you're watching right now, based on the ability of this camera to record 8K for at least an hour without overheating, maybe two or three, would you consider getting the Z9 for your channel? Stop the FOMO. Would you consider getting this camera if it can produ produce several hours of recording in 8K without overheating in all I? Let me know in the comment section down below. And one other thing too, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and like. I know you're waiting for this video to just run off and then go on to the next video or you're going to click off, but please, it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out an awful lot. I produce these videos. I use my lunch breaks, my pre-lunch or sorry, pre-work and after work. I spend a lot of time producing content and this is one way that you can really help me out. It's for whatever reason, the engagement Let's YouTube know that you're interested, that you're watching, you're participating in my videos, and they're more willing to recommend my videos to other people. So I'd really appreciate it if you could do that. But that's it for now. Who knows if we're going to have more news coming out today. This is really, really exciting, though. I'm really excited by the Nikon Z9. The first teaser video didn't get me super excited, but this one, it's speaking right to my heart. And I'll be honest with you, if you're a Nikon shooter and you're wondering if I like Nikon, or some of you have thought I'm a Nikon hater, but I'll be honest with you, if I could have this, if I could afford this camera, I'd get it, just from the video specs alone. I'm, I'm just staggered by the capabilities of this camera. It is just, this, the Z9 is producing cinema level video. I mean, just again, look at this teaser video. While this has been exported in 1080, just look at the detail. This is what cinema cameras can do is they have really amazing processors and sensors that can grab an awful lot of detail and even if you're exporting in 1080 you can see a tremendous amount of detail just imagine what this would look like native in 8k or even in 4k and what i'm run wondering about because 4k is what i shoot most of the time is nikon going to give us the capability to be able to shoot 8k over sampled 4k i don't see why not uh, the, to be able to grab that 8K full sensor, sensor width and then compile it in camera down to 4K saves an awful lot of processing on the computer. But still, uh, to be able to shoot in 8K and have 8K images or video this detailed, all I, I don't know if they're going to do raw yet. We haven't heard. I'm, I'm really hoping they do raw. And I'm also curious to know what, to know what kind of video codecs they're going to give us. Anyhow, I feel like a kid at Christmas hoping for something that he knows he's not going to get under the tree. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.